All right, sir, do me a favor, turn around, place your hands behind your back, you're gonna be arrested. You son of a bitch, you already were... All right, uh, dispatch, I got another one running. We're gonna have a taser. You've been shot. Oh, now you're gonna have a face injury. Hello everyone, welcome back to LSPDFR. Jumping in here with the Los Santos Police Department. This is the vehicle and textures that we saw last episode that were kind of in the back and uh, doing their own thing while we were doing the episode with, with I think, the uh, Sheriff's Office, um, Tahoe? Or no, Crown Vic it was. Crown, no. I have no idea at this point. It was definitely the Crown Vic, because uh, we did the Tahoe first and the Crown Vic second. Uh, so we're going to be in here with the Charger. This pack has those cars in it, uh, marked Crown Victoria, Slick Top, an Explorer, this Charger, and a Tahoe. Um, we have all those cars in, and we will go ahead and cycle through them. We'll go ahead and flick on the lights for you guys. You got really cool lights on these. You got, like, um, sideways ones d here on, like, the back end, which not all of the cars come with that. Only um, the Explorer and, I believe, this one, if I'm not mistaken. Fronts are very simple. We've got uh, added in... Uh, usually it comes with nothing on the bottom except for headlight flashers, but I like to add some more stuff in, so I went and added red and blue on the bottom. That way it gave a little bit of a, you know, spice towards the bottom of the thing. Uh, not just so blank and empty. Other than that, this is a great car. I uh, love the pack, love the modeler that does this stuff, T0Y. So we'll just go ahead and jump into this. We've got a LASD siren in as well too. I'll go ahead and let you guys hear that. So it's a little different than what you guys would hear with the um, LAPD siren. But nonetheless, Really cool, sounds really awesome, and uh, we're going to be able to get in there with that and uh, see what we can get into. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to pull off into traffic here. This thing has, like, the siren has, like, updated uh, vehicle scourges or something like that, because, like, watch, I'm going to turn around here. And uh, it, that wasn't as prominent. Yeah, so it has those uh, tire screeches uh, as per usual. Lady, come on, it's not even your time to walk right now. Don't be an idiot. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be a little different. Not all of my sirens that I convert over or use for 5M or LSPDFR have that, so... Always interesting when they do- when they do find their way in there, that, uh... That blue vehicle had super shiny lights going on on the side of the vehicle when it took that left-hand turn there. Um, but nonetheless... Oh, we got a robbery downtime. We're down- downtime. We got a downtime! Oh shit, that's right around the corner. Dispatch, I'm going to be responding code 3 to the robbery in progress. Hey, oh shit, I got lights on, you idiot. Come on. I'm on scene. Oh shit. I got two with guns. Drop the guns! Don't- Oh my gosh. What happened? He turned around with the gun, and I was not going to take a chance. I was not going to take a t t no. Dispatch, shots fired. Go ahead and send me one additional unit. I got them both down at this time. Let's go ahead and give a uh, reload. I've been hit, but it's in the vest area. Okay, we got one down. He had a handgun. We had another down, another down, and he had some type of assault rifle. Let's just clear the guns. We'll clear this gun as well, too. Damn, they rolled up. Uh, I've got him down, but I've been hit twice. There it is. Alright, let's get medical in uh, for these two guys that are on the ground. It was a robbery in progress. That vehicle was heavily damaged. That might have been a car robbery is what they were going for in the first place. But thankfully, we were, able, uh, we were able to get this guy. Both of them stopped, even though we did take a bullet ourselves. But that would have definitely hit in the vest, so... We would have been a lot better than getting hit anywhere else, that's for sure. Um, we're gonna go ahead and need to lock this area down. How about you go ahead and back up for me, sir? We've got shooting stuff everywhere. I don't know if they just bailed or whatever it was, but... It seems like they're not even in the car right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these down. Come on, over there. You got two bodies over there. Why'd you guys walk over to me? Huh? Get your stuff together, guys. 
We've got this fairly shut down to where no one's really turning. We've got medical here. Uh, my vehicle. I don't even think my vehicle took any, uh, damage. Well, I say that and then I see that. These are both robbery suspects, so we're going to need to arrest them if they are, uh, revived. Can you relax, please? Alright, I'm locking this down. You guys calling it? Looks like passenger is going to be 1144. And uh, driver still getting worked on at this time. I'm just going to go ahead and fix the gunshot. Oh, he's alive. He'll be coming with me then. Mom's right. I should move to Vice City. All right, sir. Do me a favor. Turn around. Place your hands behind your back. You're going to be arrested. You son of a bitch. You already were fucking... All right, uh, dispatch. I got another one running. We're going to have a taser. You've been shot. Oh, now you're going to have a face injury. Do not move. That was a massive shadow. Do not move. You're going to get tased again, dude. Get up and put your hands up. Dispatch, send me another unit. In downtown Vinewood. Hands up. Respond, code three. Get on the ground. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy in custody. After already being shot multiple times for a car robbery that he was attempting to commit, somehow managed to run. Smooth, dude. Real smooth. Let's pat this guy down, make sure he has no further weapons or anything from any other robberies that might have taken place. We got a Playboy magazine, a grenade, illegal prescriptions, and a flashlight. Alright, let's go back over to where we were, dude. Don't know why you decided to run like that. Dispatch, I got one ten fifteen. 15 uh, We got a code 4 on Vinewood and Meteor. You can go ahead and shoot a prisoner transport over to this location. I called in for a backup, but there was no one that actually showed up because I got him 10:15 before uh, they could get here. All right, we got this. Looks good. It's nice and shut down. At least we got this whole road to ourselves, so there's nothing we really have to uh, worry about. Let's not do that. I'm just going to go ahead and release him. And then call in a prisoner transport right from this location, so that way we don't have to get him out of the car, do it again. Assistance required in downtown Vinewood. And we're still going to need to search the suspect vehicle, make sure there's nothing, uh, you know, extra in it or illegal. How did you do that? How did you... How in the hell is that even possible? I'm going to help him get over here just because of the traffic. There you go. And now I can go search the vehicle. We still got that other individual here, so while we're waiting, let's go ahead and call uh, Corner out. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Corner service. Assistance required. And now I can give the vehicle a search. Downtown Vinewood. That sounded good. Jerry can, a violin, and a hammer. Oh, you're welcome. That was so echoey. It was not even funny. Where is my tow truck? Oh, my lord. Or it's not even a tow truck. Oh, lord. Ow. Damn it. You'd think they would position it a little better than just spawning directly on top of whatever's going on here. Okay, let me get this out of here. Then we can get out of here. Where the hell did you come from, dude? Tow truck. Assistance <laughs> He just ran up uh, out of nowhere. Downtown Vinewood. Alright, dispatch. We're code 4 here. I'm gonna be 10 8 available for calls. Dispatch calling unit 1 King 24. We have a traffic alert for a possible burglary. So, right now we got two subjects or a subject coming back in a vehicle. Uh, not too far from our location. Actually, looks like he's getting on the freeway. Which is perfect for this freeway enforcement. So we're going to go ahead and get through some of this traffic. Uh, dispatch, show me responding out to a stolen or uh, wanted subject. Let's see if we can get down there. He's just going to be on the freeway still. And this texture actually works out really well with uh, what we're doing here since it uh, the suspect is on the freeway. This siren sounds super good. Alright, suspect still continuing. It's gonna be continuing... Looks to be westbound. 
on the interstate, too. Again, this is going to be a wanted subject, so we're going to try to get their code 3, uh, since it's for a robbery, I believe, that took place. You're a turd. Get out of the road. Get out of the road! Wow, it sounds so good in here. All right, we're gonna be coming up on the subject here shortly. Gonna go ahead and downgrade the sirens, turn on some lights here, uh, but we're gonna have to locate exactly what vehicle uh, was used in, in said robbery. Dispatch calling It'll unit be the felon is what we're getting back in the uh, information panel. We got a lot of fel felons in this area, but I believe this is gonna be uh, the one that they're talking about. So we have it lit up right now. This is a pretty act uh, pretty appropriate place to do a traffic stop. Whoa, okay. Dispatch, I think we got one taken off from us. I'm not sure what that was. Hey, driver, get out of the vehicle right now. They're taking off, they're taking off. Can we be a 1080 westbound interstate two. Be uh, continuing after that vehicle. Medium, uh, media, mediocre rates of speed, about 60, 70 miles per hour right now. Not too bad. They were going a lot faster when they first started, but then they slowed down tremendously. Uh, it's gonna be occupied times one unknown male female right now. Oh shit, let's not pit them just yet. We've just started the pursuit. Still continuing northbound US Route 1. Speeds of about 80 miles per hour now. Let's go ahead and get a plate check on this vehicle. Why did it do that? Gotta get closer now. Let's get that siren back on. That way people can hear us. Come on, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Dispatch, it's gonna be, uh... 34, Henry Paul Adams, 644, coming to a slow stop. Three, four, Henry Paul Adams, 644, a warrant issued. Okay, we got a felony warrant on that vehicle. Looks like it's actually the registered owner, so they are using their registered vehicle to flee for a felony warrant, which makes absolutely no sense. So if it gets too reckless, we can call it off and still know where they're at, you know, or live. Maybe it might not be a current address, but still, nonetheless, pretty, you, may, you can boil it down pretty quick there. Okay, a little bit of damage to our vehicle. Nonetheless, we're still in full pursuit mode. We're in a V6 ourselves in this in this charger. Um, V6 ourself. Did I say that right the first time? I don't know. It didn't sound right. It sounded all funky and weird. Um, so we're not going to be able to do massive amounts of you know smashing in this car. We're going to be able to do something though. We're easily able to stick with them. We went from the police all the way out to the county. We should probably terminate this so that way we're not uh, getting too far out from our jurisdiction. So this seems like a pretty appropriate place to get a pit. Oh, it's gonna be one of these cars, eh? Stop. I think they gave up. Hands up right now. Get out of the car. Get your hands up. I'm gonna stop traffic. Hands up and get on the ground. Get on the ground. Come on, lady. Cooperate. Dispatch, I got one stop, US Route 1 eastbound. Actually, it's to be northbound lanes. All right, at least we were able to get them stopped there with the pit. The pit actually worked instead of them just resurrecting and just continuing, no problem. Let me get my siren shut off. Okay, everyone's gonna hold traffic here for a second so we can get this kind of figured out what exactly the whole reason was. Well, we know it was for, um, obviously fleeing on a warrant, but, uh, if there was anything else involved. Let's pat her down, make sure there's no weapons before we put her in the police car. Alright, we're gonna have a small revolver and prescription pills, so that's definitely not a good combination, especially when you're running from the police. Um, but I guess Attention it is what it is, you know? People gotta do what they gotta do. 
Well, let's go ahead and get prisoner transport out for this female. Since we don't really need to just put her in the back of the car. Because by the time we do that, we'll just have to pull him back out. It is for bigger investigations if there's possibly a lot of suspects or something of that nature. Let's go ahead and help him out. Good. Maybe we shouldn't be helping him out if they're going to not help me out. You do know you've just ruined my police car now, right? Just want to make sure we're clear. No, I think you're the dumb fuck for doing this to my police car. You know how I feel about you, stupid ass? You know what? I'm just going to use the suspect car to get my vehicle turned over. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Seems like a very substantial plan. God damn it, Earl, get out of the way. I don't know if this is going to work. Citizens reporting medical aid requested. Units respond code. Oh, so close, yet so far. Just relax. I'm. This is official police business, okay? There we go. We got it. We're all secure here. Yeah, it's not... You don't got to freak out that much. Come on. They are trying to book it out of here. They are too. Okay, we can open this up for them. You hear those tires? Like, that's so much different than uh, what it normally is. Okay, uh, open it up. Clear traffic control. Turn off the siren. Alright, everyone, have fun. Enjoy your day. I like how we made that thing move. Seems legit. Alright, dispatch. I'm gonna give a quick search to the vehicle. Didn't mean to say that to dispatch, actually. I meant to ask for a tow truck, but then I saw the search the vehicle thing. Nothing really of interest. So we got a MacBook Pro laptop in there. That's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Not search the vehicle again. Done it again. Just wanted a tow truck, damn it. Oh my goodness. This is all I want, is request a tow service. Hi, motorbike cop. Looking good. Domestic violence. We're a little too far out for that. Uh, dispatch, we're secure here. Everything's gonna be 10-8, or code 4. I'm gonna be 10... God damn it. Oh my god, how is that even a thing? How, how do I lose my door to one of those, but the thing stands? That makes no sense. I'll be 10-8 available for calls. Citizens reporting a civilian shot in... Alright, we're out here in Del Perro. We got a suspicious parked vehicle, one of my favorite calls, as long as it doesn't go south. Uh, we got a code 2 response, so we're gonna go ahead and go out to that and see exactly what this guy's doing. I've came across some very interesting things that people have been doing inside the vehicle. Most have been off camera, which has been good, because I don't know how that would have turned out for all the, uh, Advertiser things that are out there now, um, but we got a code to response to some heavy traffic And I don't want this guy to possibly get out of the area uh, Before we get there, so let's go ahead and try to get there as fast as possible. I'll just keep lights on it's Gonna happen. It's gonna be right near the police station, too He better not be doing any weird shit inside the car or there better not be anyone doing any weird shit inside the car whether it be one or two people or Whatever. I mean if you want to sleep inside uh, You're an idiot you want to sleep inside a vehicle, go ahead. It's going to be a blue premiere. So that's what we're going to be looking for right now. Could be any one of these locations. Could be in a driveway. Could be, uh, well, pretty much anywhere, honestly. This call has, uh, oh. That's not a premiere, though. That's not a premiere. There we go. So this guy's clearly not supposed to be here right now. King 20 Dispatch, I'm going to be Vespucci Boulevard. Walking up to the individual. Okay, hey, looks like he's just going to be sleeping. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going, man? What you doing? You're sleeping? Okay, well, I mean, if you're sleeping, that's fine. Just go ahead and uh, don't do it in this location, okay? You got an... Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I want his ID. Oh, my shit, that scared me. Okay, um... Proceed with investigation, but now it's just shitting me in his car, which is definitely not what I want. Oh, God. Let's get him away from the vehicle, if possible. That way, the, uh, menu actually oh, no. takes effect. What, is happening? what do you mean, search the body? He's not dead! Uh, what? He died? 
I, I just barely ran. Oh my lord. All right, we got to start CPR. That's some bullshit. I don't know how he would have died. I hardly ran. I wanted to get him away from the vehicle. He should not have died from that. So we're going to try to give him some resuscitation here since he should not have been down. And all I wanted is was uh, his ID, but it just kept opening the door. It was a, I'm going to just blame it on the mod. We're blaming it on the dog. I like how that guy's like, someone pulled a plug on their ass. Uh, see, you're good, man. You're good. It's okay. You just, you knocked your head against the wall, okay? Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. Just stand up. Stand up so I don't catch a lawsuit. Stand up. What are you doing? There you go. Shake it off. Is this going to work now? Am I going to be able to get your identification now? Or are you still broken? No, go through the longest emote I've ever seen in my life. Oh man! Dude, give me your identification. There we go. I was like, why is it not doing that? Just your ID. That's all I want. Simple as that. Okay. Jason Harris. Perfect. That's all I needed. I don't even need to pat you down. Just please get out of here, okay? Have a good day. Go to your vehicle. Thank you. That was way more dramatic than he had to be. He didn't need to pretend to die there. He's definitely just trying to catch a lawsuit. Dispatch, we're code 4 on the uh, suspicious vehicle. I'll be 10 available for calls. Well, it looks like my laptop decided to turn on and play Netflix in the background, and I have no idea how long that was doing that until I ended that call and heard something playing in the background. So I do apologize if that was the case. That was unintentional. My bad. Happens sometimes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get back 10-8 and see what else we can get into. We got an animal invasion coming out. It's just outside of Vespucci Canal. I'm not really sure what that means. 911 caller saw a deer is wandering in a residential area. That's not too bad. And they made it sound much more intense than it actually probably is. We'll try to get out there in case uh, it's wreaking havoc on the residential area or whatnot. We obviously don't want that. We want everyone to be safe. And the last thing we need is someone uh, pulling out a weapon and attempting to shoot the animal inside of a residential uh, place. Which, if it's in the canal area, that's definitely not going to be what we want. we got a lot of houses, a lot of people outside. Dispatch, you could show me 23 in the area attempting to locate animal sighting. It's going to go ahead and downgrade here. Now it's like we need any... Major lights. We're just looking for a deer that's possibly in the area. I believe we're gonna have a witness of some sort that we're supposed to be looking for. We'll probably park up here. Search the yellow area for a, a deer. I hear it. Howdy, Brad. What's going on, my dude? Could be in the water by now, too. Very odd place for a deer to be. I mean, you'd think it would uh, stand out pretty quick amongst the people that are in the area. You'd be like, oh, and there's the deer. But of course, this is going to be the most difficult thing to find. Has anyone seen a deer? No? Okay. Thanks for all the help. Sad. Glad someone called 911 about the deer and no one's going to tell me about the deer. Could be out on the road by now. We'll just check and see if it's out this location. Oh, what? Oh, hey, buddy. Hey! Fuck! Don't! Shit! Don't! You, you get up again, you're gonna get it! Holy shit! No! My god! I didn't want to get attacked by a deer! Holy shit, that was a great shot the first time around, though. That was beautiful. It came around the corner charging, we put one shot in its shoulder, and it just fell. It fell. That was great. Unfortunately, we had to put it down, because it was about to attack me. I mean, it was- it was- that was twice. It's not just fate. It could have ran on that side. It didn't need to go ahead and go on this side of the wall. It was unnecessary. There's nothing we can do. I mean, there's absolutely nothing we- stand on top of it. There it is. Um, unfortunately, there's... Oh, we can just request animal control. Dispatch, I need animal control to my location for a deer. It's been, uh, dispatched. Okay, well, at least we were able to, um, this is gonna be a bad idea. I knew it. I saw it. I saw... Oh, God, he died. You good? Alright, I'm gonna get out of here because I don't want that to, uh, crash my game with him being stuck in the wall like that. Um, but nonetheless, we were able to get that... 
taken care of pretty easy, I would say. That was, uh, at least the deer was there. I really wasn't sure if we were going to see a deer. I heard a deer, but I really wasn't sure if we were going to see one. And, of course, we did. There it is. Cause of death on the animal was by handgun. Glad we're doing quick auto auto autopsies on animals now. Oh, my lord. Dispatch, we've got uh, the animal picked up by animal control. Uh, I'll be 10 8 available for calls. Dispatch to all SWAT units. We've got a person with a firearm in uh, Vinewood Hills. Units respond code 3. We got organized crime, drug trafficking reported in Vinewood Hills. I've never heard of that one yet. So, okay, key. Never mind. We're gonna roll through Grove Street, make sure there's no one, uh, drinking in public or anything of that nature. We usually have a lot of, uh, drug use in this area, Citizen alcohol use, person, person, person with a firearm in public fire transit. Yeah, Davis. that's right by our location. We'll take it. Dispatch, uh, we're gonna be responding code three. Okay, so we've got a person, what looks to be on a bus. Okay, no, it's not the bus. It's on this transport thing right here. Officers on scene. Hey, put the gun down. Put it down. Put it down. Yo, bro, put it down. It's not worth it. Dispatch is going to be a purple shirt. to be a Bravo Mike with jeans walking into an alleyway. Put it down, dude. Hey, put it on the ground. It's not worth it. Put it on the ground. Dude, come on. Work with me, not against me. It's not worth it. Put it on the ground. Put the gun on the ground. He's going to have to go to jail for having and brandishing a weapon right now. Since he does have a weapon. Dude, put it down for me. It's not worth it. Put it down. There you go. There you go. Put your hands up, okay? Put your hands up. It's not worth it. Dispatch, I got one cooperating right now. We're going to be on the corner of Carson and Davis. 1015 secure. Okay, nice and easy, you know what I mean? Not even uh not even anything we got to stress over. Let's just go out and pat him down. No no uh, extra shootings in a bad neighborhood. So tight for me. All right, we're going to pat you down. Make sure you have no weapons on you. We got matches, keys, and a cell phone, and obviously a firearm. It's not registering it for whatever reason. We're going to bring him back over across the street. Or no, uh cars right there actually. Bring him back over to the car. I'm going to search that uh, public transit area right there, the metro station, just to make sure there's no one else with a weapon that we might be uh, missing. Because the guy had a weapon and then he put it down, but it, it's like the game registered it being someone else after that or something. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and put him in the back of the car. All right, sit tight for me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, be right back with you. All right, man. Looks like public train. I don't want to get by a car. Go, go, go. We're just going to do a quick walk of the transit station. Make sure that no one has any weapons, anything like that, of course. Um, you know, the original call, uh, call came out as a brandishing weapon. I think that's a stolen vehicle. That has to be a stolen vehicle. I'm not seeing any, uh... Why is he running? Why is he acting so sketchy? We're here to look for weapons. This dude's taken off. Uh, it looks like multiple people are. Well, let's go ahead and let him go then. Um, I'm gonna go back to the vehicle, get a prisoner transport for this guy. That way we go ahead and uh, hit up some more calls. Let's get you out of the car, my man. One King Twenty. We have a 484 in Strawberry. Prisoner transport. We're gonna get the Strawberry robbery. Needed in Davis. We're gonna help uh, the prisoner transport over here. That way we can take off immediately in case there is a time limit. Dispatch. I'm in route code three to that active robbery in progress. Let's see if we get there before anyone takes off. If anyone does take off. I'm not sure if it's, uh... Ooh, shit. This car has a little too much spice to it. 
Uh, if anyone, if it's an active robbery to where, um, there's a time limit. King 20 dispatch, we're gonna be rolling up on scene right now. Away, the whole damn TV is I'm not up. sure if there's a robbery it's with the gun. I see the clerk, he's looking okay. Oh, okay, it's not a, uh, it's not a robbery, it's just a shoplifting. It came through as a robbery. How you doing? How you doing today, officer? We've just, uh, apprehended a shoplifter. Luckily, you managed to catch them. Stuff like this happens nowadays. Tempted to steal $153. Lies, you asshole. Why the hell did you get dedicated security? and to head over to downtown to get my free stuff. Shoplifting it is a crime. Whole bunch of bull crap. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and take them into custody then, due to the, uh, obviously the nature of the, uh, crime that they committed. Do me a favor, turn around for me. No! You son of a bitch, she's taken off. Are you fucking serious? Why is it so hard? Hey! She's taken off. Wow. Yep, that's what you get. You just had to be a hero, huh? Hands up and do not move. Dispatch, I got one taser that's gonna be in the middle of uh, Innocence Boulevard. We've got one on the ground, though. Come on, it's over. Just get your hands up, put them behind your back. No need for any of this. I've never had that before. Usually it all just goes smooth, but uh, that time it was a no-go. Just took off running immediately. Let's go ahead and move the pet over to my vehicle. That way we can get a, uh, you know, search and all that stuff. Uh, there is going to be a arrest for the petty theft because it was under... You know, a certain amount of money, but now she's getting arrested for a felony, which is fleeing from the police, so... Definitely not good. Let's go ahead and pat him down, make sure there's no other weapons or anything. Zippo lighter and some bullshit, so that's always good. Handguns and long guns permit, that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, looking good. So let's go ahead and get a prisoner transport. Uh, we had slurred speech, so there might be some alcohol impairedness, but there wasn't a vehicle, so I'm not really worried about that. And we have pretty serious charges, Strawberry. so there's not like we need those dinky things anyways. What is that other blue thing blinking on the map? So this situation was wrapped up. She'll be going in uh, for the theft and... Uh, trying to evade the police, which she booked it not only between a cop, but also a security guard that worked inside the, um, 24-7 there. Well, that's some risky stuff. Nice daytime underglow. We've been in game for quite some time doing this episode, and I did crash once, which is unfortunate, which kind of made a dent in it, but nonetheless, we still got a ton of calls this episode on LSPDFR, rocking this beautiful Dodge Charger. That is going to be where we wrap it up, though. So thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of DO... Uh, not DOJRP. Thank you for coming out and watching this episode of LSPDFR, and we will see you next episode.